It is said that one of the hallmarks of a great work of art or literature is its capacity to endure and remain relevant across generations. In a sense, the hallmark of a good literature or a good work of art is a sense of timelessness. Yet another hallmark is the capacity to have universal appeal across all age groups and geographies and languages and cultures. This is also the definition of a classic. In the annals of creative expression and storytelling on television, the teleserial Chanakya undoubtedly is one such classic. It is not an exaggeration to claim that ever since it was telecast in 1991, it continues to remain the gold standard in making historicals not just on TV, but for the big screen in a manner of speaking. The feat accomplished by this work of art, Chanakya, has not been equal even after 27 years, despite great advances in technology and so on. Indeed, the enduring impact and influence of Chanakya is nothing short of phenomenal. Today, there are hundreds of clips from Chanakya on YouTube of selected scenes and dialogues from the serial regularly shared on social media, on WhatsApp, email, etc. Chanakya also launched several star careers, the most notable of who is Irfan, who was also known as Irfan Khan. Telecast between 8 September 1991 all the way up to 9 August 1992 in just 47 episodes, Chanakya went on to become a great milestone in Indian television history. As the title implies, the story of this TV series is primarily based on Chanakya or Kautilya or Vishnugupta, one of the world's greatest and pioneering masters of statecraft, economics and politics who lived in the 3rd century BCE. And if commercial success is a yardstick, it is estimated that Chanakya collected a stunning advertising revenue of about 18 crores in the early 90s that is in the pre-liberalization era. To my mind, Chanakya has truly elevated history into an enduring Rasanubhava, a connoisseurial art experience in tune with the finest traditions of Indian aesthetics. And who better to tell us the full story of how this classic came to be created than the creator himself. It is my great pleasure and honor to welcome Dr. Chandra Prakash Vivedi. <clears throat> uh, so this show titled The Making of Chanakya, a modern classic. I am your host Sandeep Balakrishna. A very warm welcome, Dr. Chandra Prakash. Thank you. Thank you, Sandeep. Namaste. Uh, okay, so before we begin, uh, you have become synonymous, eponymous with the character of Chanakya himself. Uh, in the contra contemporary time, at least, like I said, since the time it was uh, telecast 27 years back, uh, how do you feel about this back then and even now? I always tell people hmm. that please, please do not identify me with Chanakya. Okay. I am Chandra Prakash Ridhi, just uh, an actor who hmm. played the role of Chanakya. I hope that I did a good job. That's why. Oh, you're, 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 not, you're severely <laughs> understating it, actually. <laughs> All right. So, uh, my attempt here actually is that uh, there's art, there's an artist, and then there's a creation process. You know, in philosophical terms, it is Dirk, Drishya, and Darshana. So, my attempt here is to understand the creation process directly from the creator himself. So, the obvious first question where did you get the inspiration to make Chamakya? Uh, it's very difficult to say. Mm -hmm. At times, when uh, when I look back and I try to find answer for this, mm -hmm. there may be several factors and I keep on telling people that I may be able to respond to this question maybe after several years. Mm -hmm. But since you have asked this and I have answered this several times, mm -hmm. um, 
I had grown up in a family of a Sanskrit scholar. My father was a Sanskrit scholar. Oh, okay, okay. He was basically a grammarian. Okay. Uh, he was expert of Panini Vyakaran. Mm -hmm. So I was familiar with Sanskrit literature and tradition of literature. My eldest brother, he was also an educationist. Mm -hmm. He was a teacher and he retired as a principal. Okay. So there was an atmosphere of literature and learning in my family. And I distinctly remember that uh, I read Katho Upanishad somewhere at the age of 13, 14 for the first time without realizing what I am reading. Okay. And Chandragupta of Jayashankar Prasad, hmm. uh, a drama that was in a course of MA, uh, my brother was studying at that time. Mm -hmm. And I read that uh, drama when I was studying in class 8. Okay. Hmm. So I was exposed to that literature. And when I graduated and I uh, decided to get into cinema, I wanted to uh, make cinema. But to raise that kind of money was very difficult at that time. And by the time uh, around 86, 84, Sponsored program started appearing on television. So, Hamla was the first serial and followed by Buniyad and various other successes. We had only two versions. Two versions at that time. So, I thought of uh, making a television series first. So, the next question was which television series you would like to hmm. make? And here I am trying to answer your question. Absolutely. We keep on reading, we keep on thinking, we keep on experiencing a lot of things. And there was a question in my mind, can a man change society or it's a myth? So while I was searching this answer, that can an individual effort bring a great change in the society? And I found my answer in a character called Janaki. Here is a man. In the most troubled times or challenging times, he changed the entire political and social circumstances single-handedly without any resources. What was that motivation? What was that inspiration? What was that zeal? What was that madness? Why? Why did I do this? I thought that in this country, a farmer who is cutting the एक मजदूर जिसके पांव दलदल में कीचड़ में मड में धसे हुए हैं उसको कोई उम्मीद नहीं कि उसके जीवन में कोई बदलाव होगा या उसको कोई उम्मीद नहीं है कि वो कभी बदलाव या इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ चेंज हो सकता है उसे हमेशा लगता है कि इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ चेंज जो है वो बाहर से आएगा वो शहर से आएगा किसी बड़े परिवार से आएगा और हमने भी हमारे समाज ने भी ये विश्वास उसको कभी नहीं दिलाया जबकि मेरा ऐसा अनुभव रहा है कि इतिहास में जो भी बड़े परिवर्तन आए द बिगेस्ट चेंजेस वो हमेशा एक बहुत ही सामान्य व्यक्ति से आए जिसे हम सामान्य समझते हैं लेकिन उसमें असामान्य प्रतिभा है वो असामान्य प्रतिभा जब बहुत सारी चुनौतियां आती हैं उसे समय खोलकर आती है तो मुझे लगा वो क्या बड़ी चुनौतियां थी जिससे एक आदमी जूझता है और एक आदमी अपने प्रयत्नों से कितने सारे लोगों को जोड़ता है और मुश्किल से तीन साल में ये ऑल नो दैट एलेक्सेंडर थ्री ट्वेंटी वन और थ्री थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बीसी पीपल से चंद्रगुप्त बिकम डी एम्पायर एट एट डी एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन इन थ्री ट्वेंटी वन बीसी दिस स्पैन ऑफ थ्री इयर्स वाज मोस्ट क्रिटिकल फॉर इंडियन हिस्ट्री so how somebody rose to this eminence in three years that he made one young man of 21 year the emperor of India and he united the entire uh, country. So he made a soul, made a man me tha ki kya mein ye logon ko vishwas dila sakta hoon ki ithihas iski bar bar gawahi deta hai ki joh bhi bade parivartan huye hai ko bahut hi samma ne dikhne wale vittya ne kiya aur adhiktar उन लोगों ने किए हैं जिनका सीधा संबंध शिक्षा कला संस्कृति से रहा so, uh, तुरंत दूसरा एग्जांपल माधवाचार्य में जाता है मैं दक्षिण में अगेन सेकंड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ विजयनगर अंपायर कैन वी थिंक टुडे द टीचर कैन बिकम द इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ चेंज 
Whereas we have hundreds of examples in Indian history that they were just simple teachers, teachers who decided one day that I need to do something. Oh